What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can use a tool called ChatGPT for your Shopify dropshipping business. Now you may or may not have already heard of this tool. It depends on whether you've been living under a rock now, but there's loads of people talking about it. It has tons and tons of different applications. However, out there, there's not that many that are specific to Shopify dropshipping. If you haven't heard of it, then you definitely need to check it out because it's an extremely valuable tool. And at the moment, it's still free to use. In a second, I will be showing you five different applications and ways of using it. But in summary, ChatGPT is basically an AI chatbot. You can ask it to write pretty much anything for you and it will be able to do it super quickly within seconds with a very high degree of accuracy too. So what I'm gonna show you in the video is the top five ways you can use it as a Shopify dropshipper to help you be more successful. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video helps you out and let's jump straight into the first one. Okay, so the first application which may help you out if you're a beginner is coming up with a name for your business. Obviously, you should try and stay away from names like Trendy Deals or Amazing Savings or some sort of kind of like cheesy, salesy, discounty type name like that. And if you've never had to come up with names before, then it can be a difficult thing to do. And this is where ChatGPT comes into play. So in the chat box here, what I'm going to do is simply ask it to write us five different business name ideas for a dog store. So when you're asking it to do things for you, then it's quite intuitive and just talk to it like you would a human being. So can you give me five business name ideas for a dog store? I'm gonna hit send and then let's see what it comes up with. As we just saw, it took a few seconds, it typed us out and as an overview, it's given us five pretty decent ones to be fair. So Positively Perfect, Wolf and Whiskers, The Doggy Den, Canine Corner and Four Paws Emporium. If you're not happy with the suggestions that it gives you, then again, just talk to it like a human being and ask it to give you five more. Give me five more, The Barking Boot tail wags and treats, the doggy deli, the canine cottage, and pup arazzi pet shop, which is probably one of my favorites. So once you've got one or two that you're really happy with, obviously you need to check to make sure domains and things like that are available. So as kind of like a side bonus for this video, I want to share with you a website called Namecheck. So N-A-M-E-C-H-K.com. If you go into here and put your business name into here, so let's take the Barking Boutique as an example. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell us whether the domain is available and it will also tell us if we scroll to the bottom, this has changed, whether the username is available on the different social media platforms. So just cross check it against name check and you'll be able to see whether you've, you can create an Instagram page, Facebook page, Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Application number two, one of the biggies, one of the things that you'll probably struggle with as a beginner, once you start getting questions and emails, especially if they're kind of heated emails from customers asking about orders and updates and that sort of thing, it's really important that you don't bury your head in the sand when it comes to these emails and you respond to them promptly and professionally. And if you've never had to write those sorts of emails to people before, it can be difficult to know what to say. And again, this is where ChatGPT comes into play. So if we take a common example with dropshipping, especially if you're drop shipping from China, you're probably going to get a few emails from customers saying, where is my order? At that point, you can check the tracking status and then you can go back to your customer with an email like this. So what I'm asking it to do here is to write an email to my customer about a late order that will arrive in approximately five days. So I've checked the tracking status. It's in the UK. It's going to take a few days for processing, especially if Royal Mail are on strike. And I'm just going to send this across and see what it can come back with me. So subject to the customer, delay in your order. Dear valued customer, we hope this email finds you well. We wanted to reach out to you regarding your recent order with us. Unfortunately, we encountered some unexpected delays in the shipping process, which has caused a delay in the delivery of your order. So really professional and quite accurate up to this point. We understand that you eagerly await your purchase and we apologize for any inconvenience this delay may have caused. We assure you that we're doing everything in our power to resolve the issue and get your order to you as soon as possible. Your order is currently expected to arrive in approximately five days. We will continue to monitor the situation and keep you updated. So it's really reassuring to the customer, really professional and really apologetic as well, which is key to keeping your customers happy, of course. If you wanted to make changes, so we could ask it to, for example, if it's the second time a customer has had to chase us because there's been further delays that are out of our control, then what we can do is ask ChatGPT to add in a discount code. So to make changes to anything that ChatGPT sends back to you, again, just talk to it like a human being. So add discount code of late 10 for 10% off next order as a goodwill gesture. We can send that across. I'm just gonna get rid of WordTune so it's not trying to interfere. 
And then ChatGPT should rewrite the email, but with that addition that we've asked it to put in there. So as it types through so far, so good, I think it's pretty much identical to above. However, we've now got that addition of, as a good gesture of goodwill, we'd like to offer you a 10% discount on your next order with us. Simply use the code late 10 at checkout to redeem this offer. We value your business and apologize for any inconvenience this delay may have caused. So as you can see, it does things super accurately and super quickly, making an invaluable tool for your business. Third application, something that I struggle with myself, which is writing product descriptions for products, especially if it's a product that I don't have much experience with. So when it comes to picking products, then typically I'll always um, favor picking those products that you have first-hand experience or interest with. So for example, if I could probably write product descriptions about golf tools or golf products um, all day long because I play golf. I know people who play golf, I've got lots of experience. I know the sorts of things people look for in those products. However, if you were to ask me to write a product description about, let's say something as random as a tennis racket, I wouldn't have a clue because I don't play tennis. So let's use that as an example actually and see what ChatGPT comes up with. So as simple as write product description about a tennis racket and all going well, it should be able to give us something that we can use and literally just copy and paste into our product description. So introducing the latest in tennis technology, the X tennis racket, this racket is designed for players of all skill levels with a lightweight yet durable construction that provides optimal power and control on the core. So no matter how much time or thought I would put into a product description, I'd probably never be able to write anything as kind of on point and effective as what this has just done in the space of a few seconds. I won't bore you by reading through the whole thing, but you get the point. Um, it's given us lots of information that we can copy and paste. So the typical kind of product description layout would be a header followed by a short description paragraph like this, um, followed by an image which then supports that paragraph and that information. So straight away, you've pretty much got all of the information you would need to fill out an entire product page. Let's go for something a bit more relevant though to dropshipping. Most people probably aren't gonna be dropshipping tennis rackets watching this channel. So let's go for a typical dropshipping product of an LED dog collar. Let's just go for that. So write, so write product description about LED dog collar. And let's see what it can come up with on this occasion. Introducing the ultimate safety and style. So straight away it picks up and talks about not necessarily the features, but the benefits of the product as well. So it has a safety aspect and it's stylish as well for your pet, for your furry friend, as it calls the LED dog color. This color is designed to keep your dog visible and safe during walks, runs and adventures in low light conditions. So super on point and it does a really good job of, of making it kind of accurate to the reasons why you would write it, if that makes sense. So rather than literally just write out descriptive text about the product, it writes it in a salesy type way is what I'm trying to say. If you wanna make any edits to it, again, just speak to it like a human being. So let's say there's too much information there. You could literally just put make it shorter and then it will rewrite it, but it will condense some of the information down and ultimately make it shorter. And now that it's finished, we can see it's condensed one, two, three, four, five kind of small paragraphs into one sort of medium sized one. Moving on to application number four is coming up with ideas for social media posts. So as kind of like one of those daily mundane tasks or maybe not mundane, maybe you enjoy this part of it. I certainly don't. Um, I try and outsource it as soon as I can with tools like ChatGPT is making it even easier to do so now is regardless of how many ads you're running, you should always be posting on your show, social medias every day to show people that you're active, you're current, and you're still a running business essentially. However, when it comes to coming up with social media post ideas, then again, unless you have a deep knowledge of the niche that you're in, then your mind's probably gonna hit a blank and after the first week or so, you're gonna struggle. So this is where ChatGPT comes into so we can ask it to give us some social media post ideas for our niche. So as simple as give me five social media post ideas about dogs. So number one, share a photo of your dog doing something cute or funny, always a good one to do. Those sort of content always gets a lot of engagement. Share a video of your dog learning a new trick with a caption like teaching old dogs and new tricks, hashtags. It gives you has hashtags to, uh, to use. Share a photo of your dog enjoying the outdoors, share a photo. I'm actually not liking this one as much because every single one is share a photo. So I'm actually gonna ask it to change that now. So let's try a straightforward response of give me five more ideas that don't share a photo and let's see what it can come up with. Share a tip or advice on dog training or behavior such as did you know that positive reinforcement is a so on and so forth? Share a fun fact. So there's two different ideas um, for social media posts that you can use. Share a quote or saying about dogs, such as a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself by Josh Billings. And obviously you can accompany that with a nice cute photo or gear or video. 
and then we have three, four, and five. So plenty more ideas. And of course, if you want more, just ask it to give you five more. Now that you have your ideas, moving on to application five leads into Nicely, which is actually writing that idea and putting a post together. Again, when it comes to writing, in capturing and interesting posts, unless you're a creative person, then you're probably gonna struggle a little bit with it. So what we can do is we can ask ChatGPT to do it for us. So we've asked ChatGPT to give us the ideas. Idea number one was to share a tip or advice on dog training or behavior. So I'm actually gonna ask it now to write the post on that idea. So write a social media post about three tips for training your dog and let's hit enter and see what it can come up with. So once train your dog like a pro opens up with a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, with a question to capture people's attention. Here are three tips to get you started. Number one, start with basic commands like sit, stay, and come to build and build from there. Number two, use positive reinforcement such as treats and praise to encourage good behavior. And number three, consistency is key. Make sure to regularly practice commands with your dog, hashtag dog training, so on and so forth. So super simple, but that's all you need. It's really important that you post every single day. Even in the beginning, you'll probably get a reach of maybe five, 10 people, but that will slowly have a domino effect and increase and increase as people like engage and comment slowly your following will increase and over a year or two hopefully you're in the dropshipping game for a long run in a couple of years you'll have a significant following and that in itself will be bringing you a recurring revenue each and every month and so with that being said then that is the five applications for using chat gpt there are a couple more that i didn't mention such as writing your actual ad copies that sort of thing which it can do for you definitely head over check it out I'm not affiliated it's free to use and 100 percent valuable to you as an e-commerce business owner thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one on friday cheers